in this video i am going to discuss about two important topics in uh, the electronic devices course and which is in uh, the diffusion and drift currents in semiconductor so first we will discuss diffusion diffusion is a it is a migration from higher density to lower density so higher density is means so suppose it is, it is having some electrons or holes here very high concentration so diffusion means these carriers will diffuse from higher to lower so after some time it will be at equilibrium so that's why so suppose this is the length l and if i dope here so many number of electron holes it will slowly diffuse it's a very simple so if you take a glass of water like this so many i mean uh, the molecules will be there if you drop a uh, ink so the moment when you drop it will be very uh, what you call density will be very high then slowly it will dissolve in the water so that is like a diffusion only similarly the diffusion is migrating the carriers from higher concentration to lower concentration so when this is happening we will have some gradient that is d by dx so what is electron concentration gradient is dn by dx so what is the suppose it is having some 10 to the power 6 here and it is having 10 to the power 2 only so what is the difference i can get 10 to the power 6 minus 10 to the power 2 by so what is the length of this uh, we can say length of the diffusion right that is dx so electron concentration is dn by dx whole concentration gradient is dp by dx so what is the length of the diffusion is I can remember directly L is equal to root of D into tau. We may get problems directly from this also. Find the diffusion length if a diffusion constant is given and the time carrier uh, carrier time is given something. So if it is electron, I can get ln is equal to root of dn into tau 1 tau n. Whole is Lp is equal to root of dp into tau p. So dn is diffusion constant. It is in centimeter square by second units. Uh, so electron means dn you know, holes means dp similarly carrier lifetime so tau n and tau p for this is for electrons this is for hole right so now whenever there is a electrons are moving are diffusing from a high to uh, lower then what we can get is whenever there is a moment of electron hole we will get a current right so what is the diffusion current density right so generally we will say uh, we will take a, a, a semiconductor bar with cross-sectional area and uh, what is the length of that so that's why we will get first diffusion current density that is Jn so this is electron concentration I mean electron charge that is minus Q into diffusion constant Dn into Dn by Dx now minus Q is for the negative charge and uh, what about the Dn by Dx suppose this is the length x is equal to 0 and this is x is equal to L what is the difference I will get is 0 minus L so minus L so diffusion length or we can say it is negative dn is if it is 10 to the power 6 here or 10 to the power something so that difference I can take directly dn the but we will start from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to L then I will get negative so that's why I always for our electron diffusion current density q into dn by dx similarly if i write for holes that is jp is equal to plus q into dp into d by dx so dx is a negative so i will get minus qp q into dp into d by dp by dx this is for electron current density and this is for hole current density in diffusion only right so these two equations are very important you have to remember so we will get directly question from these two cons two equations also next one is drift so what is drift is so generally drifting means by applying some force or external force elect electric field generally in the terms of EDC if carrier is moving then it is called a drift so whenever carrier is moving the current will be developed that is a drift current <coughs> So diffusion is simply if a carrier is moving from higher concentration to lower concentration that is diffusion. Now drift means we have to apply some external force right that is a drift. So what is drift current density is J is equal to sigma into E. 
right so this is applied electric field so that is directly proportional to electric field so it's like a ohms law right so then this sigma is conductivity so if i draw for uh, j n that is electron drift current density that is sigma n into e what is sigma n we have discussed already n q into mu n similarly j p p q into mu p into e e is applied electric field now if uh, if i write total current density that is j n so it will have diffusion as well as drift so j n is equal to n q into mu n into e plus q into d n into d n by dx similarly for a whole total current density drift current plus diffusion current so p q mu p into e this is for minus q so we'll get like this so by these expressions also we can get sometimes the uh, problems now we'll see one or two problems you can do so many problems previous gate problems right so this one is the one of the gate problem a silicon sample is uniformly doped with 10 to the power 6 phosphorus atoms phosphorus and 2 into 10 to the power 16 per centimeter atoms per centimeter cube with boron so if all the dopants are ionized the material is so we have to find what material it is so phosphorus means that is a n type or we can say electrons are increasing the doping so that is why i have taken nd is equal to 10 to the power 16 so boron means it is a p type so or we can say accept or in impurities though so i have taken n is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 16 if we compare these two n a is greater than n d so i can easily tell that it is a p type semiconductor now he mentioned uh, if all the dopants are ionized that means 1 into 10 to the power 16 under this 1 into 10 to the power 6 to so it's having two two times of 10 to the power 16 so this one time and this one time will be ionized then remaining is 1 into 10 to the power 16 so that's why the overall electron um, concentration of that material is Na minus Nd that is 10 to the power 16 atoms per centimeter cube and it is a p type semiconductor now why i have taken the um, uh, difference is so a silicon sample is uniformly doped so a silicon semiconductor is there then it is doped with and 10 to the power 16 and then remaining doped with 2 into 10 to the power 16 so 1 into 10 to the power 16 boron and 1 into 10 to the power 16 phosphorus will ionize then the remaining will become 1 into 10 to the power 16 that is for p type semiconductor concentration now this is the 2016 recent question so what we discussed over this diffusion drift depending on that concept the figure shows below the doping distribution in a p-type semiconductor in logarithmic scale the magnitude of the electric field in kilovolt per centimeter in the semiconductor due to non-uniform doping so this concept is depending on the drift as well as diffusion what is the meaning is the moment electric field is coming it is also including some drift now what how to do this problem is so so this is a p type semiconductor because it is a given in here is na that is accept or impurity concentration so i will go for the whole whole or whole diff, total current density that is jp drift as well as diffusion now so he said non uniform doping right so in non uniform doping both the drift will oppose the diffusion so whatever the force applying due to diffusion it will oppose the drift will oppose the diffusion so that's why in non-uniform doping the both will be equal that means if they both are equal it will become zero what is the reason for uh, jp generally the jp was minus q into dp into dp by dx right so if i substitute minus jp here so it is uh, should be cancel each other then this should be both are equal then only it will be cancelled right so actually this was minus i should should be minus right then it will be equal so it will be cancelled now what is jdp drift sigma p into e is equal to q into dp into dp by dx so p sigma i can replace p q mu p into e is equal to q into dp by dx q k can be cancelled so what is e 
dp by mu p into this 1 by p that is concentration into dp by dx so from the mathematics so what is the differentiation of ln log so 1 by p into dp by dx so i can replace this term with d by dx of ln into p now from the uh, diagram he mentioned for at 1 micrometer this is 10 to the power 15 at uh, 2 micrometer this is 10 to the power 16 so what i have to replace at 2 micrometer it is 10 to the power 16 at 1 micrometer it is 10 to the power 4 so i can uh, substitute here so ln, ln ln a minus ln b so it will become ln of a by b so 10 to the power 16 by 10 to the power 14 so ln square 2 minus 1 1 it is in micrometer so micrometer is 10 to the power minus 16 to it should be converted into centimeter so 100 centimeters what is this dp by mu p from the einstein relationship so d by mu is equal to vt thermal voltage so i can replace 26 millivolts so if you solve this i will get 1197.3 volt per kilo i mean 3 volt per centimeter but he mentioned in kilovolts so it should be converted 1.197 kilovolt per centimeter right so again i am explaining in non uniform doping the diffusion will opposed by the drift always suppose if you see this suppose it is constant right so what is the difference dn it will be become zero so there is no diffusion at all right but whenever there is a diffusion and when you apply some electric field that electric field opposes the diffusion so that's why the diffusion on the dip should be equal right so this is how we got the answer so so it, this type of questions will come in the regular basis right so you can do no so many problems more numericals in the previous gate question paper